Hey, this is MXJF, and today I will teach you how to solder. Soldering is very a very good skill to learn if you are good at fixing things or you just like to work with electronics. Um, here, I will sh this in this video, I'll show you the first type of soldering that I know how to do, and the second video I will record is going to be the second type of soldering. The first type of soldering is soldering like components to a board. The second type of soldering is soldering like a wire to a board. Because you have to tin the wire. Um, the first, there's a couple things you need to start soldering. First is obviously a soldering iron. Um, you, you can get a soldering iron for as cheap as ten bucks. I recommend a good one with a like a base and like a little sponge to wipe your soldering iron tip off. A damp sponge because if you do it with a dry sponge, it will burn. Um, another necessary thing to solder is obviously solder. You need some solder. Um, this is a big gigantic thing of solder. Um, I only got this much solder because I solder a lot and I haven't, I got this like a couple years ago and I still haven't run out of solder. But they, they, um, sell really, really small things of it for like a couple bucks. This is like a ten, like five or ten bucks worth of solder in there. You can get it for like really cheap. Solder is probably the cheapest part of soldering. Um, another thing you might want is a vise. Vices are great for holding your circuit board while you're doing it, while you're working with it. Cause they allow for almost like a third hand when you're doing work like this. Um, a good thing to have also is a magnifying glass. If you can't quite see some stuff, you can hold this and so and um, you can see it better. Um, here, here's the first part of soldering. First, you want to turn on your soldering iron. It'll take a few minutes to heat up. After it's heating up, heat up, you want to tin it by holding the soldering iron like this, and if you comment on my video saying, oh, you don't take care of your soldering iron, dude, this is a three-year-old tip. I've sanded it down so many times that I totally need a new tip now. So, I'm going to get a new tip soon, and so screw you guys. Um, what you want to do is you take the solder and you tin it, put a little tiny bit of solder on it, to tin it. So solder that you put on there will melt easier. Put it in your stand or whatever have you. And now I'll show you how to let's say solder what do we have? My heart's been. Um let's solder something easy like a resistor. Or no, an LED. No, resistor, yeah. Resistor. Because I have plenty of resistors. Take it off. Get the rest of the pin. Now, you want to take this out of your vise if you don't have it in your vise already. And you want to end the ends of this thing like this. Like that. And now, what you want to do? You want to put one pin in one side, pin in the other side. Resistors, you don't have to mind the polarity because they are a non-polarized um, object or device. And then you put them through, and then you fold the things over so they're so it won't fall through that board when you flip it over and solder it. And now we put it back in your rice. 
if you have one. And you take your soldering iron and your solder, and you place the soldering iron on the pad that you want to solder on, and place the solder on the same pad, but not do not touch this the soldering iron to the pad. I mean, do not touch the solder to the soldering iron. I mean, just touch each of them to the same pad. And once you're done with that, wipe it off on your sponge or wet paper towel or wet cloth because paper towel will probably burn. Um, and undo that. And uh, those solder joints on the end are the ones that I just made. A next step is to fold those back up and snip those off. Okay, that's how to solder for components like that. In my next tutorial, I will show you how to do a wire soldering.